Paul Nicholson alongside Jim Bradford. Thank you, Matt. It's a match when it's dealing with the occasion as much as dealing with the opponent. Two Lakeside rookies who dare to dream that in seven days and six wins time, they could be the eighth man to win the tournament at the first attempt. The guru, Raymond Smith, one of the regional table qualifiers, certainly pumped up for his Lakeside bow. Not too much doubt about that. Here to make the most of the occasion and hope that the euphoria carries him along the way. As far as David Van Baalen is concerned, he's also making his debut. 28-year-old Belgian who is uh, ranked 44th in the world and his opponent, Raymond Smith, not too far behind him in the BDO rankings either. Five ranking titles, he's uh, just inside the top 50 in the world list at the moment. Well, Paul Nicholson, you can remember your first ever world championship match what's going through their minds at the moment how do you deal with it well i think it depends on the amount of confidence that you have going into this match with with mine it was uh, it was a dream come true of course it will be for these guys as well my debut Thank you, i've been a gentlemen. very close friend first nine legs to nil three sets to, to nil first. so it went pretty much the plan on. but we'll see if it'll go to plan for the guru raymond smith or Davy Van Valen, two heavyweight darting nations. Belgium has become very, very strong over the last few years. Australia has as well. One hundred. Well, a stark contrast to his walk on. And the way that he uh, greeted the audience when he was on the stage, it's uh, a very slow, methodical approach from Raymond Smith. Yeah, Raymond Smith is a, is a bit of a thinker. I had the opportunity to spend some time with him yesterday. Obviously, I have represented Australia on a few occasions and just wanted to touch base with him and check out his mindset and see what he's passionate about. I'll tell you one thing he's very passionate about is the future of the sport in Australia. He was talking to me about being the kind of example for the kids going forward that they can look up to. And first and foremost, he's come onto the stage with some vibrancy, some attitude, and there's nothing wrong with that. But now it's all 16. down to the performance. I say he's a thinker, most gurus are thinkers. 60. Sounds about right. <laughs> Mind you, the guru that... It was that very strange movie, wasn't there? With Mike Myers called The Guru. It's pretty poor. Let's hope that these guys can provide some really good entertainment tonight. 95! You don't see many dark players the old sports sleeves on. Anastasia de Bromislova was one of the first to have that kind of thing. Obviously, it's something that he's tried in the past and feels very comfortable with it. I would highly recommend it myself if you're playing darts in a very cold place. 140! Raymond Smith first to look at a finish then in this their first ever match in the Lakeside World Championships. 41. Davy requires 68. Davy has a chance to hold 68. Single eight leaves tops for the first leg of the match. 28. Raymond you require 60. Raymond's coming back. Very conventional way of 60, that is right in the middle of the 20. Game That's not bad either. First leg. Raymond Smith. First leg on TV. First Second leg, leg to Raymond Smith. Throw first. Game on. And against the darts as well. I'm not sure if you think the same as me, Jim, but I think Davy Van Boren looks a bit like 
Terrace Bueller. 45. Hope he's not going to have a day off. Showing your age now. It's a classic. Tell you what, Davy Van Ballen is very deliberate. It's posh for slow, but very, One very effective. 25. I like the way his darts go on the board, actually. Nice and flat. Lands them on top of each other. Raymond Smith does it the other way, tries to land them under each other. 60. Disappointing start to this second leg for Raymond, and that means that Davy has effectively taken the uh, darts back, having lost the first leg against the throw. 60. Well, when Davy van Balen qualified for this tournament through the World Lakes Egg qualifiers, he was having a bit of a week. 100. He did pretty well in the Windmill World Masters, making the last 16. Played really well there. Got through the qualifiers. He pretty much did everything he wanted to that week. Maybe this is the time for Van Ballen to just kick on. 100. Join the cacophony of Belgian talent that is rocking the world of darts at the moment. 100. That's how the darts go in for Davy. It was an extraordinary week. He was one of 512. Four places to aim for. He won six matches in a row. He'll take one of those four places, and that's why he's here today. 95. Raymond, one of the regional table qualifiers. Very little between them in the, the rankings. And Dave has only reached the. Well, Raymond, should I say, has only reached the last 32 of a major Davey once before. 121. It was last month in the World Masters. Davy, 121. 21. That was a rather nice looking bullseye, wasn't it? Right in the middle. 70. Raymond Smith. Raymond, you require 96. Now has an opportunity. Lovely number, 96. Let's take a 2 0 lead. Ball is not lost. 81 left. And for treble 15, for double 18. 43. No avail, so Van Ballen comes Davey back for 50. the bullseye again, but he will go 10 or 18. Let's see what he likes. He likes tops, obviously. Back down for 10s. Raymond Smith is coming back, and the Belgian fans can't believe it. Jack his head in his hands. Just has to come a fraction Game lower. On the Does exactly leg. that, and Raymond he's won Smith. the first two legs, Raymond Smith. Third leg, it's Davy to throw first. Game on. I don't think he's happy with his performance so far, judging by his face, but if you look at the scoreboard, Raymond, he should be happy. That's the only statistic that matters. Of course, it's, I think, easier for a European-based player to get here. 135. More opportunities, more tournaments, more playoffs. For Australian and New Zealanders and people around the world, it, it's a bit more cutthroat. 60. I was talking to Raymond yesterday about the amount of ranking tournaments that there are in the Australasian region. And he said there's there's not that many. Basically, two of them are really, really important. One, the Australian Grand Masters in Canberra, which has been thrown for many, many years. Won by the likes of Dennis Priestley in the past. And the Australian Masters in October in Geelong, Victoria. They're the two big ones. If you do well in those, you might find yourself here. 45. Decent advantage for Davy as he looks for his first leg. One that he needs to win to stay in this first set. Ninety-nine. 
saw yesterday with the game involving Roger Janssen, also of Belgium. A couple of sets in his match where there was a two-leg advantage and the set was lost, so it's not what Raymond Smith wants. It's looking like this, like, might be too good for Van Balen, but Raymond Smith can come back in the next leg. Van Balen looks like he's got this one wrapped up. Two legs that he's lost, Davy Van Balen has had darts at doubles. Double 18 he needs for his first leg, no problem. Jackie ecstatic. When is he not? He'll be ecstatic if he hits this. Good start of the leg for Raymond Smith. I just feel like his rhythm is a little slow at this point. And it will get faster as he gets more comfortable up there. Sixty. And Ballin for me is probably the quietest Belgian dark player I've ever seen. Easy They're all ball. quite vibrant, I think. Whether they like to the dance, whether they like to the scream and shout. This guy's a bit more composed. Maybe composed is the wrong word. I'm going to stick with deliberate. 60. One thing I know about Raymond Smith as well, he's an avid historian of the game, especially for the Australians that have graced this stage. He loves the fact that he is following in the footsteps of the great Terry O'Day. 140. Russell Stewart, former world number two. Steve Duke Sr., Wayne Weening. And many, many more. Including former finalist Simon Whitley. It's looking pretty good for Raymond Smith in this set. 97. You know, very, very solid leg so far. I'll tell you what, judging by his doubles percentage, he gets down to this double, he's going to hit it. We have to rely on Van Ballen not hitting this 144 though. Davy require 144. Didn't get the treble that he needed with that first dart. So Raymond Smith will be back. Tops for the set. 40. So he had one dart at it so far Raymond in the match. Require 40. And it went straight in. Will this one? Saito at the first start. Game shot on the first set. Raven Smith. Only needed the one sider though, and he has a 1 0 lead. We'll be very happy with that. First leg, it's Raymond to throw first. Game on. And in a first set at Lakeside, debut. I think that's pretty much job done. 82 odd average. It's not something that he will write home about. But I tell you what, 60% on your doubles in a first set on TV. That's pretty good, in my opinion. I think if the bookies were looking at this as well, they'd probably put Van Baal in favourite before this game started. Probably on the back of Van Baalen's performance in this venue at the World Masters recently. He's played on that stage before, albeit in a different 60. tournament. They reached the last 16 and beat Tony O'Shea and Martin Phillips. And it was only the eventual winner, Glenn Durrant, who uh, knocked him out in the round of 16. So we'll he is acclimatised, you would think. No disgrace in losing to Durrant at the minute. Tough man to beat. Talk 
about the history of players from Australia. 100. Raymond, the 20th Australian to have appeared in the BDO World Championships. The likes of Harley Kemp, Eddie Sims and Rob Modra here in the last three years. They all failed to get through their preliminary round match. 97. Raymond already one step towards achieving exactly that. Winner of this one Season. takes on the 15th seed, Gert De Vos. The potential, of course, of uh, all Belgian clash. Jackie would have real mixed loyalties then, wouldn't know who to support. Couldn't couldn't go wrong. Absolutely. Well, there's a shake of the head from the Belgian Bringing fans at the moment. It's not going to plan for Van Balen. Oh, the little come on from Raymond Smith definitely worked. Beautiful anchor dart for that 60 to leave 60. So again, fans are really involved in this game. They're finding it extremely interesting. 130. There's pressure on this 60 now. 60. Excellent third dart, but will it be in vain? Two darts at tops, and again, his finishing doesn't let him down. He has been excellent around those doubles, Raymond Smith. Well, he loves a bit of double top, doesn't he? Tell you what, Raymond, give yourself some advice. Keep leaving that, because you keep hitting it. 140. Brilliant figures at the best of times, but let alone in the context of your first ever match on the Lakeside stage, four doubles out of six. I was saying this last night with the debutants uh, who were playing Roger Janssen and Mark McGraw. You don't find out what kind of player you are until you're on that stage, until you've got that adrenaline pumping through your veins. And you find out if you can slow that heartbeat down enough to hit the target you're going for. 100. And Raymond Smith has definitely got something. 94. I'm sure Raymond Smith wouldn't mind me saying this. Davey require I think he's a very un-Australian type player. He's a little bit slower. He's very loopy. This could be good. This could tie the best finish of the tournament. Ooh, and that would have taken some money out of Glenn Durant's pockets. Raymond, you require 170. But on the flip side, Raymond Smith could take the whole pot if he can hit this 170 checkout. He got one of them. He's not out of this leg yet. Check the last score for Davey was 128. Davey, you require 39. 39 left for Davey Van Balen. There's the big seven. Double 16. Double eight. And needs it. Well, as good as Raymond Smith's been on his doubles, it's exactly the opposite for Van Balen. Treble 14 would have left tops. 26. Davey, you require eight. Double four now for Van Balen. Game shot on the second leg. Davey Van Balen. Well, that'll be a relief after so many missed darts and doubles. It's only his second leg of the match. One hundred. Smith with a one-set lead, and it's one leg apiece in this second set. 
think Van Bolen was having a bit of a word with himself when he hit that double four, Jim. As if to say, come 59. on, giving yourself enough chances here. Let's hit a few more doubles and we'll get back in this match. First leg of the night between these two went Nine against six. the darts. Raymond Smith took that, but since then it's all gone with the throw. Six successive legs. Raymond with the advantage in this one. 97. Go back to what I was saying before, Jim, about Raymond Smith being a sort of un Australian type player. Throws a very loopy dart. The majority of Aussies that I've seen come over here throw it very hard and very aggressive. Raymond himself, very deliberate, takes his time and tries to gather those darts together. Try to get it over the top of that flight there. And squeeze it in the middle of that one. 60. He's got a great line though, very, very straight. mentioned great Australians, great Belgians, we mentioned last night. Eric Claris. What a player he was. Raymond, you require 144. 144 is usually two treble 20s and double 12. As soon as he can't hit the 60, Van Bollen's coming back for the Hollywood shot. You're looking at the centre of the board. There's one of them. There's the other, double 16, he's done the hard bit. Game shot on the third Damien Van Bollen. What a check out, that is ball, ball, double 16, 132. And Davy Van Bollen wins a leg against the darts for the first time. That's an absolute game changer. He's been missing his doubles up until this point. Puts it right with a double four on the last leg and hits one of the hardest checkouts in the world to take that third leg of the second set. He's looking good to get himself back on track in sets, if he can hold here. AC5. AC3. That was brilliant from Van Baden. First dart in the ball, and the second one could not have been closer to it. Finished it off with the double 16. Not the highest check out of the week, certainly one of the best so far. Sometimes the highest one is not the hardest one. For me, that's one of the hardest ones. Very small segment, that bullseye. I tell you what, 60. look at that graphic. Could have fit another three or four in there, the way he throws them. Still hasn't been done that on TV, to my recollection. Three bullseyes for 150. I'm sure someone will try it eventually. It wasn't just the quality of the finish, it was the context of it as well. Just when he needed to get his nose back in front. Throwing for the uh, second set here now. So I've got to ask you, Jim, were you a fan of Raymond's walk on there? A little bit of aggression, a little bit of dancing? 134. I can take aggression in one hand, I can take dancing in the other. I wouldn't necessarily mix them up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's the way Planet Darts is going at the moment. There's a lot of dancing going on. I'm not sure what's been put in the, the pre match glasses of water. 134. And that was just a walk on. Imagine what he's going to be like if he wins. Wouldn't that be a good thing to watch? Long way to go before that. Smith's in a decent position here. If Van Bollen can't hit this 142, options are could have gone the 60 route. Treble 17s were also a route that he could have used. Just 
going to try and lay up and leave a nice number, nice which he does, six. in case Smith right doesn't hit this 84. 84. 84 potentially to stay in this set. Bullseye. Van Balen hit it twice. Ryan hasn't been able to hit it there. Could Davey be a costly error with Davy on 46. And this to take the second set. Back against the darts. Tied up at 1-1. Two darts, a double 16. Had one look at it in the last leg and only needed the one. Game only needs the one this time as well. Davey Van Balen. And it's one set apiece. Both sets having gone against the darts. A brilliant 132 from Davy Van Balen. Potentially changing the whole momentum of this match. It's Raymond Smith one, Davy Van Balen one after two sets. Well, the third of our four matches at the Lakeside tonight is poised. Wins earlier for Christoph Ratajski in the preliminary round of the men's 3-2 over Willem Mandigas and Fallon Sherrock. Too strong for a slightly disappointing Olive Biamakama. Two sets to nil. One each then, uh, Raymond Smith and Davy Van Balen. Jamie Hughes and Martin Atkins will be with us uh, in a wee while. But Chris Mason, worth another look at that Van Balen. Magnificent 1-3-2 checkout at a critical point in that second set. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's always a, a bit of a showpiece, this one, uh, when it goes in. But yeah, it was massive. Give them a 2-1 a, a lead and, more importantly, a break, a throw, and the impetus to, to go on and Game win the set and down. level things up. There was a moment there, he was looking in a, in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Um, yes. You know, and he was a, a favourite going into this match and, and, and fancied quite highly. Yeah, and I wonder whether that, again, we've had a break, so we're not sure about how that affects things, but the momentum kind of shifted there, certainly on the stage. Yeah, definitely, definitely in that second set. First set, didn't look comfortable at all, didn't look like he'd settled quick enough. Like I said, that 1-3-2 just changed everything for him, and now he's uh, he'll be buzzing. Raymond Smith's one of those darts players when he came out, when he wins a, a particular leg, and particularly the first set, he gets quite pumped up, he's very demonstrative. And I, I wonder sometimes about where that takes you physically and mentally, whether the kind of up and down of that is, yeah, is good for you. His throw is completely opposite, isn't it? Mm. I mean, it's, it's very measured yeah. and, it, you know, it's very deliberate. Uh, yet, you know, his personality, he's, he, like you say, he's quite boisterous and uh, he's, not, he's not scared to celebrate, that's no. for sure. He's an Aussie, so, you yeah. Know. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once at each then, Van Balen and Raymond Smith, Gert DeVos awaiting the winner in round one. Back we go to Paul and Jim. Well, you've got to go back eight years for the last time an Australian won a match at Lakeside. That was Simon Whitlock back in 2009. Been runner-up the previous year and a, a semi-finalist before that as well. Here's Raymond on the way. Just Thank you, ladies a and little swing of momentum. First, set, first leg, it's Davey to throw first. Game on. David Van Barlen with the darts. He's won each of the last three legs in taking that second set. Has he just settled down now in uh, playing his one. game? In the first set, Raymond Smith was very comfortable with the pace of Van Ball and he was doing great things on doubles. Maybe it's taken a little bit of time for Van Ball and to adjust to Raymond Smith's pace, maybe. I mentioned Simon Whitlock. Always did very well at the lakeside. Loved it here. 60. Great final with Mark Webster back in 08. What a great game. And a twist of fate. They're now in the same management stable. 100. Came so close to winning it. Simon didn't win it. Last Aussie two of one, Tony David back in 2002, some 15 years ago now. Is that really 15 100. years ago, Jim? Where has time gone? 
That was a great, great final too. Played the King, Mervyn King. That was a good year for Darts 2002. A great Lakeside tournament. Easy to. Tony's still kicking around in Australia as well. Still throwing the odd dart. I'm sure he'll be watching back home in Oz. 140! <laughs> 29. Davey require 120. Can the momentum carry on then? That's the single as he looks for Shanghai. Tops now for his second three figure check out of Game's the match, and he's got it. He's building up a head of steam. Isn't he just starting to find his range a bit more? And you can see in his cheeks there's just a little bit of fire there. 100. As if to say, right, I'm playing my game now. Nothing wrong with getting a little bit of a head of steam and finding your adrenaline level that works for you up there. 83. He's finding that treble 20 with more regularity now, which is starting to worry Raymond Smith. 100. What do you mean you thought she'd fade into obscurity and you'd never see her on television again? Who are you talking about? Who's Honey G? Said an entire nation. Oh. I'm usually doing something interesting 51. on a Saturday night. I'm usually watching the darts. Oh, that's the cost of having a seven-year-old daughter, Paul. Don't tell me she was a Honey G fan. 131! Am I missing out on something here, Jim? There's something you want to tell me? No, you're really not. <laughs> oh, this would be like sweet as only if he hits this. 135. Right when you require 170. He's got another crack at the jackpot shot. He's not going to get it. get the feeling 50. there's going to be a few players leaving the 170 this week to have a crack at the five grand which currently is sitting in the pocket of the number one seed and that from the first leg of the entire tournament Raymond you require 112 the one he had 170 last time and missed it he didn't come back this time he does treble 20 Double 16 for a 112. Game shot on the second leg. That's better, Brings Raymond. Me. Third leg, it's Davey to throw first. Welcome back to the game. game That's a really good shot. Mar Angler looked like he blocked the 60 with the first dart, but he lobbed that second one over. Lovely, nice and clean, no deflections. Didn't even think about aiming for the next one, just hit it. 60. Raymond won the Sunshine State Classic and the North Queensland Classic this year. He also reached a couple of finals in Australia. Last month in the World Masters, he got to the last 32. He beat four opponents, four being edged out in a deciding set by Wesley Harms on this very stage. No, when you look at Raymond more. Smith playing in the Murray Bridge Classic, he got beaten by a certain Peter Mason, who made the final of the World Trophy this year, which is a big surprise to a lot of people. But Peter mason has been around a while, and he can seriously play it. And it took the season pro, the dazzler Daryl Fitton, to take him out to take the trophy. 140. One thing that annoys you as an opponent, 
that's when the flights keep coming out of your opponent's darts when he's going to the board. Some people don't like to fix them in, glue them Nine in, or six. put rings on their stems. They like to have the freedom so that if they put them together, they can pop off. Obviously, Raymond Smith is one of those guys. 100. Davey, you require 114. Looks even better in slow mo. 114. Treble 20. No, treble 18 will leave double top. 76 left. Nice. Oh, that's a lovely visit. When Smith's not on a finish, just laying up lovely for double eight. That will do. Fifty-five. Another flight comes out. Davey requires for 16. Raymond. One set all, one leg all. Van Balen to get his nose in front again. Game shot on the third leg. Davey Van Balen. And that's five successive well, darts and doubles that he's hit. On. Just had a little bit of finishing trouble to start with, but it's a thing of the past for David Van Balen. He's definitely fixed it, hasn't he, Jim? Lethal on doubles now. 57. Got a great story about the flights coming out. I used to be just like Raymond Smith. He used to come out all the time. We mentioned Mervyn King earlier, who lost in the final to Andy Fordham and obviously to uh, Tony David in 2002. Played Mervyn King once and he said, Have you not got rings on your stems to keep those flights in? I said, No, I don't like them. And he said, Well, don't do that against me again. I said, Yes, Mervyn. <laughs> 28. It's all even in this leg. 85's a piece to start. 100. It's on a knife edge. But Raymond Smith is the one who has the little bit more pressure. Because if he loses this leg, it's going to be two sets to one down after taking the first set. 100. This is the first maximum of the match. 125. with the darts he's only failed to hold his throw once which was in the third leg of the second set it was a costly error 100 that's when Van Balen took out the 132 Davey has effectively wrestled control 25 ahead plus these as he looks for a 2-1 lead in sets Davey Van Balen is showing a little bit of courage and patience here because the first set did not go his way he's just stuck to his guns a bit and put it on with the job that he wants 100. to do Davey required 94. Raymond Smith's doing a lot of squats picking those flights off the floor Van ball and trying to flex his muscle here Trouble 19 would have left double 18. Smith can now rescue the situation with 116. 116. Starts on the 60. Stay there. Needs the 60 this time. Doesn't get it. 60. Davey requires 63. His flights are on the floor. His chin might be on the floor in a moment. Just asking for clarification. 27 down, 36 to go. Double 18, two darts at it for a 2-1 lead. Now one at double nine. 45. He can't do it. Require 56. Slightly unusual way to go up for 63. Could have been effective. Will this be effective on tops? Double 10 to save the set. 36. Davey require 18. So Van Balen back, to a slider at double nine. This for the set. Game shot on the third set, Davey Van Balen. 
And having lost the first set, he's won sets two and three. The Belgian contingent delighted as Van Baalen leads 2-1. It was all sunshine and cocktails for Raymond Smith in the first set, but now it's looking very bleak. He's got to find something on that stage. Got to find some fireworks from somewhere, but it's really, really difficult sometimes to get 100. a rhythm going against a slow player. You've got to be patient. And believe in what you're doing is right and when you're behind this slow player 100. you've got to find some comfort from somewhere stand behind him close your eyes and just wait your turn it's completely different playing a slower player as opposed to a really quick one we saw Willem Mandigas tonight he had a fair pace about him as do most Dutch dog players but playing against the slow guys it's very very different and is that easy to do? Is it easy to find 100. that comfort? I never minded playing the slow guys. I actually didn't like playing the fast guys. I needed more time to think. <laughs> Excellent cover shot. 91. I'll tell you who taught me how to play against quick players. Former Lakeside champion Yella Klaassen. Pretty friendly with Yella when I started in my 62. career. He was just right at that time, really quick. Learned to play against him. Now, two cracks of the whip at the 170. That is a pearl of a guide. It really, really is. Didn't take advantage of it. 130. Two out of three in bad. Raymond Smith have three out of three. And we can't. Decent first start, and he thought it was in. Double ten now. Thirty. Finishing Can't to give chances. This is what Raymond Smith needs. He needs something like this to ignite his game. And will he get it? Eighty. Feely needed Day to hit that one. Ten. Don't see him coming back, Jim. Double five. Single one. Double two for the first leg of the fourth set against the darts. Six. More missed opportunities. Lifeline being thrown out to Raymond Smith. Sink or swim, Raymond. Thirty. Not meant to be. Davey, you require four. Van Paulen will fancy this because if it goes low, it'll be a beautiful guide. But he's gone high. Nice he's gone low on that one. Right Bit of a schoolboy error, really. If he's going to miss, he's got to go low, and he can land it on top of that one. See, that's a good guide for Raymond Smith. Just a little lower. No score. Almost too good, that one. Davey He's Ricardo. getting a pep talk from his fans. Well, he's missed eight darts and a double in this leg. That's nine. Double one. Game and the 11th time of asking. Take Van Baal. Van Baal in the madhouse hits double one. Second leg, it's Davey to throw first. He's nicked the Game darts one. in this set. All he's got to do now is hold twice and he's through. Well, sometimes the madhouse can make you really, really mad. It can send you bonkers. But on that occasion, the ball was 100. in the madhouse and bashed down the door. Need some inspiration from somewhere. He's only won one of the last eight legs now. Van 
ball and has not picked up a ranking title as of yet. And I say yet because I do fancy that he might next season. Did get to a final though in Denmark at the Denmark Open. Was runner up to Darius Lobanescus, one of our seeds here. I haven't seen Darius play yet, but we will very, very soon. cheering on Davy Van Balen. He's first on the circuit in the last decade. He's uh, returned after an eight-year absence. Top of the Belgian rankings in 2015, finished second in the men's 16. 2016. And on his way to making an impression. In his first match in the Lakeside World Championships. Everything going his way. You were talking about Eric Harris earlier. Words one of only two Belgian quarter-finalists in Lakeside history, the other Leo Lawrence, 20 years ago. And if Davy can finish the job here, he'll play Gert de Vos in an all-Belgian clash, so we're guaranteed a Belgian in the second round. 58. Is this going to be the year that we get one through to the quarters for the first time in 14 years? Leo Lawrence, one of those names from the 90s to remember. 98. Back when moustaches were still fashionable. How could we ever forget Ronnie Sharp's moustache? Incredible it was. Just as incredible as this visit. One Perfect timing from Van Baal. Raymond, you require 160. You mentioned sink or swim. This is a dive off the high board, this one. It's looking like Van Vollen is going towards, David, you potentially, 46. through for the match. Two darts at double 16 to move within one leg Game shot of the, the first round. David Van Vollen, third leg is Raymond to throw first, game on. Eight out of nine for him. And it's effectively sudden death as far as Raymond's concerned. Has to win. Three legs in a 57. row here, and that's just the bare minimum. No turning back now for Raymond Smith, who, of course, is not the only Australian in the Lakeside Championship this year. We've got Corinne Hammond in the Ladies' Championship. Very much looking forward to seeing Corinne play. She's dominated the Australian female rankings for nearly 10 years now. Be great to see her have a run here. The run could be over for Raymond Smith. 100! Unless he digs deep into his bag of tricks. And comes out firing. you wonder as well, 16. no matter what happens with this result, if Raymond Smith is going to be consigned to defeat. The only way to learn is to remember how you felt on that stage and watch the game back afterwards. 58. You learn more from defeat than you do from victory. Said that a lot this weekend already. This game isn't over yet. I've seen people come back from worse situations than this. 100! Do you remember that 1989 Lakeside Championship final? Jockey Wilson. 42. He got tested for his medal in that final. Of course, Wolfie Adams. Phil Nixon, the double what seven specialist. Word. Six nil to Wolfie, then it was six six. <laughs> That'll test your metal. But Smith is doing everything right in this leg. Ninety seven. Raymond, you require eighty four. Well, he hasn't got six darts at eighty four. 
thanks for that. Excellent cover shot. He has two darts at double 12, now one at double six. 72. Davey require 144. Three in his hand for 144. He's already had a 132 and a 120 tonight. This for the match. Well, compared to the 132, this looks easy. Segments are bigger. He can't finish it on this occasion. 58. So Raymond Smith should Raymond, you require 12. pick off this double six nice and easily. In theory, it's good. Clip it off the left hand side of that barrel. No oh, score. And he's given Van Ball and a chance for the match. 86 out. Davey require 86. 18s will be the target, Jim. Missed the big 18. Why wouldn't you go big 18 there? Just Raymond, I, I can't 12. for the life of me think that he would go for the treble there. That double Game six Sean keeps Raymond Smith in the match. Smith. You've got that 86 for first. the match. Game go on. high, hit the single, guarantee yourself a shot at the ball. He could be off the stage, but no. I feel he got a little greedy. Everybody out there who wants to get a bit better, give yourself outs. 140. Don't get greedy, go for that treble, hit the single, and go for that little button in the middle, the bullseye. Well, credit to Raymond, because his nerve could have failed him. His last 14 darts at a double had all missed. 100. He hit the double six to stay alive. One small step towards a potential comeback. He needs to win the next two legs, remember. Davey off to an excellent start in this one. 99. Well, if you're still kicking, you can still win. It's as simple as that. And Van Balen knows this. In a funny sort of way, Raymond Smith can now Easy just relax five. a bit because there's no pressure on, on him. Everybody expects Van Balen to close this out. But if you break it down into little victories, like every couple of visits, there's no reason why you can't win this match from this situation. Win two legs, and all of a sudden... 40. Van Balen doesn't need to win one leg to win the match. He needs to win three, and by a margin of two. 140. This leg the big one, though. Because it's against the darts. Teens. 58. He hasn't hit a treble. He is on a finish, David Van Balen, a 1 6 4. But if Raymond could get out in six from 1 7 6, he may well still be alive. David, you require 164. 1 64 for Van Balen. Comfortably his highest check out of the night. There's the first start, another one of those. Treble 18 he wants now. Just a fraction of the wrong side of the wire. 83. That window Raymond of opportunity is open again here for Raymond Smith. 60 was the target. Now the target's double four. Oh, that could have been the lifeline. Davey require 81. He's not dead yet. But Van Balen could consign him to defeat with this 81. 319s or 315s, and all of a sudden it's very, very tricky. 71 left, could be treble 13. It's all going wrong at the wrong time. 31. Now, Raymond Smith, to Raymond keep yourself alive, four. double two. Game shot on the fourth leg. Perfect. Raymond Smith. All of a sudden, he's still swimming. Fifth leg is Raymond to throw first. Game on. Nerves of steel from Raymond Smith. In a position that he had to win three successive legs to stay alive. He's won the first two. Has the darts now, and all of a sudden, from a 57. seemingly impossible position, holds his throw here, and we're all square, going into a deciding set. 
do find sometimes that certain players love a scrap. And this is turning into a scrap. Make no mistake, Davy Van Balen does not want to go to a fifth set. Eight legs out of nine, he was two sets to one up, he was two legs up in the fourth set, finishing line was within touching distance. All of a sudden, he's just threatening to go south against the man from Australia. Van Ballen went south there to treble 19 with brilliant effect. Needs a treble. Needs to stay with Van Balen in this 40. leg. Now, he's counting on mistakes from the Belgian. And he's not making them. Interesting here, he might go bullseye, because a 25 would leave a finish, but Raymond Smith's way behind. 105. That guarantees the finish of 167. Just in case Raymond Smith it's a bag load of troubles here. Good thinking from the Belgian. 60. Davy require 167. Well, he seemed to have pulled himself back from the uh, abyss, Raymond Smith, but what he's done is present Van Balen here with an opportunity. 167, six starts to get it. And he's through to the first round proper. 59. Not yet. Raymond Smith is thinking, I want a 140 here. Tons 60. of bare minimum, that's not enough. A ton, Davey he's got to have a two treble finish. 140 leaves a one treble finish. That one treble finish is exactly what Van balen has got, but he can't finish from here. 103 and two darts is impossible. But he's coming back. Look at the exasperation from the Belgian, as if to say, what am I putting myself through here? 76. Sixty. He's had four 32. darts at double 16 so far tonight, and he's hit with three of them. Hits again here, with three in his hand to do it, and he's through. Great guide. That guide is no longer applicable. 24. He's still fighting Raymond Smith. Raymond, you require He's been given another opportunity and a little piece of magic, and you just never know. That doesn't help the situation. And Ballin comes back. 54. Double four. Don't and he will find himself eight. playing Hit the Voss in the next round. Can he hit this target this time? He's messed around enough. Double four. Double two. Just landed on top of that one, he says. Four. And he doesn't do it, and Smith is still here. Raymond, you require 70. Well, he said sink or swim. He was sinking. Van Balen's foot on his head, pushing him under. But double 16 ties it up. Game shot, Two sets set each. What a comeback. He's won three legs in a row. The look of exasperation on Van Balen's face speaks a thousand words. Six match darts missed. Raymond Smith is still alive. And we're into a deciding set. Next. Willem Mendigas earlier. Balanchero too strong for Olive. Yamakama, two sets to nil. We're all uh, geared up for the decider shortly between Smith and Van Balen. And then Jamie Hughes and Martin Atkins. That is a round one match. They'll be with us when the 
the two that are about to resume uh, get it done. And I guess the end of that last leg and last set, Chris Mason, sums up where we're at. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be absolutely kicking himself. He, it's such a great opportunity to wrap the game up. But, I mean, that was a great 70 to, to stay in it. It was. Get us the 2 2. But and that. there we go. No, no explanation needed. No. He's absolutely devastated. To be honest, that break come at the right time. Yeah. He was in absolute bits. Yeah, I imagine he's uh, he's gone off and had a, a word with himself. Or, <laughs> or someone close to him needs to find a way back into uh, the form that he was showing because his average has fallen off a cliff as well. Everything in his game looks a bit fragile. Yeah, he was up around the 90 mark. He looked really comfortable. He battled back well from that first set. Um, yeah, and the wheels just fell off there at the yeah. end. It looked, he looked home and He looked really comfortable. That was the thing. But he just, just flapped at the doubles getting over the winning line. It's... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough place, and it, again, it was, it was almost infectious. Once you missed the first three darts, it just went on and on. Who will benefit from the break? Let's find out as we go back to Paul and Jim. Spot of finishing line-itis for Davy Van Balen. Could yet be able to put it behind Thank him, you, of course. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth set, first leg, it's Davy to throw first. Game on. Yeah, it's not very nice that finishing line itis. I've seen my doctor about that a couple of times. The prescription was have a break and go back to the practice board. 44. No, no practice board for Van Balen. Match board is your medication. 100. Six match darts missed in that deciding leg of the fourth. Eighty-five. I'll tell you what, Jim. Every dart player in the world has got a story about a game that they should have won, and they missed a bucket load of doubles. I remember playing former England 60. international Dennis Ovens. cruising, missing ten match darts and losing the match. And it's not a nice feeling. Hard to recover from. I'll tell you what, though. Chris Mason was perfectly right. The break came at the right time for Van Balen. And that unsettled his nerves. For 44 in his first visit coming back after the break. And 85 and now a maximum, which is his second of the night. 140. Good response from Raymond as well. What a funny feeling, we might have the best set of the match here. And it should be the most nerve-wracking. Sixty. The thing is, these guys should be used to this now. They've had a little bit of time on stage, they've adjusted to the temperature. The nerves 59. should be a lot less. Davey now we're down to something that they're very used to as well. Effectively, it's a best of five. However, they've got to win by two clear legs in this last set. One hundred. Right, well, he took out one thirty-two. Last time he went ball, ball, double sixteen. Couldn't do it this time. Opening that Raymond hasn't been able to take advantage of. So, David Van Balen, double 16 David for the first leg 32. of this deciding fifth set. Doesn't want to mess about on this one. Raymond Smith is lurking on 84. Game Doesn't mess around this time. David Van Balen. Maybe you think to himself, two more of those first. and I'm going through. One thing we know about Raymond Smith already is he likes to Fight for legs from behind. 60. I'm sure Davy will also be thinking, why, why couldn't that have gone in six or seven minutes ago like that? Just talking about it during the break, he pointed out to me, he had nine darts at 184 to win the match. 96. Couldn't get it done. I wonder how many flights he's picked off that floor. I mean, quite a lot of them. 
Tell you what, if they had a statistic for that, I'm sure he'd be holding the record for it. Someone around the world will probably be recording that. Could have been another 180 for the Belgian. Exit, stage right. The white flight retrieved by a referee. 100. I think the referee's getting good at that. He's actually catching them out of thin air. Van Balen has effectively taken the darts in this second leg of the fifth. 16 ahead plus these. 57. See that as a missed opportunity, Will, I'm sure. He's still 73 ahead after nine darts apiece. And he's sitting on 265. He's gone to the 19 route. Because 100. Five 19s will leave 170. Just gives you more outs, more opportunities to leave a finish. He couldn't find a treble. Does this time, but it's the wrong one. Now, 23 off 208 is 185. So he's got to think about this. Michael Bullseye. 418. That was smart. Bigger segment. Does leave a finish, but won't be happy with that visit all the same. Oh, it's happened from some way back. 100. Graham puts Davey himself in something of a position. It would be about 167. Treble 20 with the first dart. Treble 19 with the second dart. And a bullseye with the third. What a big dart this is. 124. That would have been a bingo moment if he'd hit that one. That really would have set him on his way towards victory. But to save the match and stay in this final set, double six. Double Gage six he gets. Raymond Smith. Third leg is Davey great, to the great shot. Game on. Raymond Smith is making the Belgian fans think. I get the feeling that these two are not going to sleep very well tonight. Eighty-five. One of them's going to be really, really pumped up after finally getting through this. But one of them is going to have sleepless nights for a while. Thinking about missed opportunities and why didn't I hit that double? Part and parcel 59. of professional sport is getting over things that happened. Chances that you didn't take, but the chances are still here. They're two sets all, they're one leg all. 100. Anybody could win this. Well, they came onto the stage about an hour and a quarter ago, and they're Separated by next to nothing. 57. Raymond Smith has got the darts now. What he should be thinking, if he's smart, is come on, let's go now. Let's go towards this finish 55. line. Like you say in Bolt, don't look back. Didn't need that treble five though. He needs red bits and big green bits like that treble 19, which Van Balen's going for now. 58. It's all a bit cagey, isn't it, Jim? I'm feeling the tension up here in the comms box. Not the time for that. 21. Yeah, he's let him off the hook. Only 30 behind from this position would expect to be able to go and win this leg. It's almost a case of who's going to get away with this. Cece. So far, it's been Raymond Smith getting away with coming into this fifth set. It doesn't seem like anybody wants to run to the finish line, or maybe. 100.
135. That's a little bit better. A bit of sweat from the bro Van Ball, and the tension's getting to him. You look at the numbers 210, you think, I'd love a 170 here, or a 174. Snatch your hand off for a 140. Oh, that'll do. That's very pretty. You require 105. Maybe wiping his brow has actually helped. Chevrolet 18. Oh, he's next door. 45. Davey oh, they're all looking 18. at 20s. It's going to be 20 in tops for Smith if he comes back. One more 20 for Van Balen. Just landed on top of that. Lovely. Double top for a lead in this final set. 60. The Nine momentum is shifting 60. and the chances are going towards Smith when maybe this shouldn't be. He's been great on double top in this match. Game shot and is again. Leg. All of Raymond a sudden Smith. he's in the lead. First time since the first Four set. It's Raymond to throw first. And he's thrown for the on. match, Jim. He's won five legs out of the last six from that seemingly impossible position. Saved the fourth. Now he has the lead in the decisive fifth set. What a good start for him as well. With the darts, ton 40. Nine decent darts from here. And he's won. Absolutely right. I thought I'd save this little nugget just in case I needed it. Australia versus Belgium never fails to bring drama. Davy replying in kind. 45. Look at this, Davy Van Balen cursing, inwardly frustrated. Can he see it slipping away? Will there be a response? Raymond Smith has come back off the ropes like a punch drunk prize fighter. 85. Well, Davy has to do the same. To be fair, I wouldn't want to get a right hook from Raymond Smith. Looks like a pretty solid unit. I think you'd stay hit, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd be well, asking about it the next it. morning. It's a pretty good job from Raymond Smith there. He's putting pressure on the Belgian. Has to hit trebles. Needs a treble 19. 96. Finds it. Key, key treble. Asks the question of Raymond Smith. He again needs a treble. 60. Doesn't find it. This match has been more up and down than a window cleaner's yo-yo in a lift. One important dart there. 100 left. 100. Raymond, you require 156. This is for the match. 156. Not this time. Would have been a good way to finish this match. 60. But now Van Balen's in the driving seat all of a sudden. Davey, you require 80. It has been up and down more times than the Belgian fans out of their seats. Up and down. Up and down. That's up. This is down, that's Game in, and it's 2-2. And just like the first match of the evening, we're the going to the tiebreaker situation. Level. The match must now be won by two clear legs. Should we reach five legs all, the 11th leg will be Sunday. Fifth leg is Davy to throw first. Game on. Third match of the tournament that has gone two all in the fifth. We're still no closer to knowing who it's going to be. 84. Well, I tweeted out earlier tonight that today, Lakeside, day two, we love a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker number three of the day. People are getting their money's worth. First one of those was that sudden death leg shootout. 
with Ryan Joyce and Martin Adams. What a game that was. Christoph Ratajski managed to get over Willem Mandigas earlier this evening. Who is going to win this one? My opinion has shifted easily five or six times. That old adage, you can win a match simply by not giving your opponent a match dart. And Davy van Balen has not given Raymond Smith a match dart yet. Response to two ton 40s is 135. Raymond set fair here. That's not the way to 45. follow two ton 40s with a 45. Neither man on a finish. They say that you learn from time on stage. The more time you're up there, the more you learn. Amount of time these guys have been on stage, they're going to be joining Mensa after this game. 59. Oh. 140 would be a beauty. Just squeeze it in the middle. Ooh, good effort. Forces Van Balen. Davy, you require 124. To take this 124. He's going to need the bullseye at the end of this. Only if he hits the treble 18. He'll stay there to try and leave 32. 56. Can't do so. Raymond, you require 76. Raymond Smith has taken out a key shot in the 70s to stay in this match. Will he hit another one to go back in front? And it's tops. Game tops it is. And he's ahead Raymond again. Smith. Sixth leg, Raymond to throw first. You hear a come on, Raymond, Raymond from the crowd. He's got some support out there. Nerves of steel. Immense bottle shown by Raymond Smith. Not least with that dart. At tops. Take out the 76. Has his nose in front again. And that was a leg against the darts. Have to win by two legs just to reiterate the situation in this tie break. And that means that 60. Raymond is still one leg away. Has the darts in it. Is the guru on his way through? 59. That was a good leg, wasn't it, Jim? A few 140s. Impressive finish at the end. These are the things that both players will look back on when they watch this game again. But we still don't know who's going to win 62. this. What a slip from the Belgian. 62 is not what the doctor ordered. And Raymond Smith should really smell blood here. Fill it up, he says. 140. That's not bad. In the context of this situation, 140s are gold dust. few dark players in the crowd tonight and I spotted an old friend of mine in Lionel Sams 58. called him the lion and there's Dazzler Daryl Fitton he knows about a few scraps on the dartboard what these guys on stage would give for a little bit of magic just like the Dazzler served up 99. yesterday beautiful layup good thinking good mathematics from Raymond Smith and the situation is looking very bleak for the Belgian here, Jim. He's on the verge of elimination, you'd think. What a time this would be for his third of the night. 140. Raymond, you require 160. 160 then for Raymond Smith. And a 156 for the match. Now he's got a 160 for the match. Knows that he's going to be back. How many can he take 100. off it? Three darts at 60 when he returns. That's the best treble 20 that Raymond Smith has thrown in this entire match. Because it gives him 
two dots at a lovely double that he's been hitting all match to go through and take the Belgian out. He's breathing in the background. He's composing himself. He knows what he's got to do. He's 30. not under pressure. Raymond, you require 60. Shelling peas, it should be. But under this pressure, he's already hit double top and he's double 10. Now, to reprieve Dang. the situation, Shots. he's done it. Raymond Smith, Raymond Smith stayed alive and he's going through. He's taken the Belgian out. Raymond Smith is going through. What a game we've just witnessed. What a game indeed. What a comeback. First Australian to win a match on the Lakeside stage in the World Championships for eight years. He certainly did it the hard way. The most circuitous route to glory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a tussle that was. A round of applause for the two players. Belgium's Daisy Van